G'day guys and girls and welcome to my little channel, Goodies Beer Reviews. I bought a few crafties today from the Gland and BWS. A few new ones I saw which I haven't seen before and I picked up this one. I sent a, a picture to my mate, the Grifter, and uh, Griffo said, oh, I reckon do that one. You know what? I've got to say, out of the cans of the pick I sent him, I would have chosen this one too, purely because of the can. I was excited when I picked it up because the can just looks amazing. It's hard to see. Taking a photo of this in this position, I couldn't do it. The can just looked black. So I had to just change position to take a bloody picture of it. Anyway, Forever Land Grapefruit XBA. This comes in at about five and a half percent alcohol by volume, 375 mil can, which is what we like. I get excited because I know Black Hops do some really good beers. Easy, not easy, hazy there. East Coast hazy, uh, their goat. They've got some really good beers. So the can looked great. I thought this might have been like a double dry hopped IPA or a dub, just a simple uh, dry hopped hazy, but not like the goat, like a special edition. Or But then I saw grapefruit and I went, oh, okay. But maybe it's just a great XPA, which is we love our XPAs here at Goodies. But maybe it is just a great XPA with a touch of fruit, which, you know, I don't mind. Let's have a look. Straight away, smelling it out of the can, it does not smell very beerish. Um, very grapefruity and very, like, cidery. That's out of the can, but I don't know. That's not important. Look at the colour. That's a good-looking beer. I haven't poured the whole thing in. I don't know if there's any kadunkadunks in the bottom or sediment, but I don't think so. But no, I mean, Black Ops, they do like a bit of sediment in their beers. Look at that can. I love it. It's hard to see, I know. But um, and look at the colour of the beer. Look at it. That's good. Orange, deep orange, good hair. You know, about one finger, but big bubbles and small bubbles. Very white. Oof, I can't wait to smell this one. Let's have a good smell. Well, obviously, yeah, grapefruit. Even if you put this in my front of my nose and I didn't know it said grapefruit, you can smell fruit. Man. Orange, too. Big orange, like... Oh, this smells so good. Honestly, that is a great-smelling beer, and I can't wait to get into this and share it with you guys and girls. Like, here we go. Cheers, everyone. Yeah. Mmm. I'm not sick. Yeah. All right. I love Black Hops. I love their beers. Um, Burly Heads, I think they are. But um, I love their beers. I buy them. I enjoy them. I recommend them. This? No. Nah. Not for me. Not for me. It's not a beer. It's sort of. Yeah, that's just... The smell was insane. Beautiful aromas and smells. And notes coming off. Oh, pardon me. This now, it's not over-carbonated. It's... It just doesn't remind me of... I don't know, hang on. Very watery mouthfeel. It's fruity and it's bitter and it's beyond the taste of beer, if that makes sense, which I normally don't. It's beyond, I don't know why it's an XPA. I don't know why they've smashed, you know, grapefruit into it. I don't understand this beer I don't really I love the count, I'm disappointed I'll read the back real quick so 1.6 standard drinks big, pithy grapefruit and citrus dominates the aroma and flavour with a smooth sort, soft, sorry 
hazy malt bill to balance it out. A toned down Neverland in a more sessionable package. Perfect for these warmer days. Sessionable at 1.6 standard drinks. I don't agree. Uh, five and a half percent. Yeah, you can sort of taste it, but it's grapefruit and orange in a can and not even sort of, it, it's, I can see it. You know what, that, these fruits would be lovely in a vodka seltzer. But this is, um, yeah, disappointed in that. Sorry, Griffo. Uh, but uh, very disappointing. It just tastes, like I said, like fruit. Anyways, if you see this, if you love grapefruit, go for it. But you'll drink it and probably think this just tastes like a weird bitter drink of grapefruit or fruit. A fruit. A fruit. Fruit. It's not a beer. Yeah, it's not doesn't it's got nothing to do with an XBA. It's confusing, weird, and fruity, and that's it. If you see it, you can have a go. Would I recommend it? I'd say yuck. I wouldn't get that again to be honest, but that's me as we say. Um does it do what it's supposed to do? Yeah, I don't know. No, because it's not an XBA. It could be a pale ale. It could be an XBA. It could be an IPA. It could be a lager with infused with. So I don't get it. And I'm sorry, Black Ops. I do love yous. Anyway, weekend's nearly up here. Back to reality on Monday tomorrow. Weather was beautiful up here today, actually. Not a cloud and all a few clouds, but like nothing uh, sinister, no storms, you know. Just a beautiful day. And um, I got KO, finally bought KO, like I was saying the other day, and trying to stream it to a Sony TV. And I know I'm pretty good with technology, but this is just a pain in the bum. I don't know why KO just, or the, or the, you know, the other people like Sony and. I know there's some Samsung TVs, there's some, they don't allow the KO app. Uh, so you pay 25 bucks a month, a month you can watch on your phone. So I'm just a bit bummed. I, I, gotta, I know how to fix it, I've got to get Chromecast and a few other things, if I want to get it to the Sony TV. I've got it working through Microsoft Edge for the Xbox. But it just keeps pausing, stuttering, bringing up errors. Sorry, it's the car. So uh, I'll see how it goes. The young bloke likes it though. Like I had ESPN Plus and I had a VPN so I could, but they've obviously found out I'm in Australia and you sort of, it's funny, they don't want to make money. I suppose you could be pirated here and all that, but no, well, the average person's not going to do that. Well, yeah, they, well, I don't know. I suppose the average person doesn't have a VPN, do they? Unless you know sort of about computers and stuff, but. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'll wrap that one up. It's, um, yeah, I said what I said with it. I'm not a huge fan of it. Was it enjoyable even? Oh, no, not really. But I got a few other crackers in there. I've got this one which I reckon will be a cracker. Um, and I got a few lagers too. I don't always do hazies, but that we do like hazies here. Um, it's a hazy, friendly household. <laughs> Sound like a, a flop, eh? Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Be kind to each other. Love each other. If you want to subscribe and like, I do pop videos. Probably on average about five. And if I have a few, I usually do two or three and drop them. Uh, so, yeah, like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Have a chat. Uh, if not, well, yeah. Thanks for stopping by and checking this one out. It was, uh, yeah, different. All right. Love is all. Getcha.